Now that you are on finallyhair.com, it is very simple to place an order. Simply select our products from the top menu bar. You will see a list of the products that we sell. In this case, I would like to purchase the Hair Loss Concealer refillable bottle. I'm going to select that product. Now, I already know I want it, but if I didn't know, I could read the fine details. I could read reviews, but I could also click the Buy Now. It's going to scroll me down to the color chart and ask me what color I'd like. In this case, I'm going to select the dark chocolate brown, and I'm going to buy two of them. I'm going to add that to my cart, and then it scrolls me up and shows me the shopping cart summary box. Now, if I want to view my shopping cart, I just click the View My Shopping Cart button, and it's going to show me the items that are currently in my cart. And as you see, there are two of the hair loss concealers in my cart. The total is $38.58, but if I have a discount coupon, I can enter that here, click Submit, and it will apply the coupon. I can also sign up for reorder emails, which will offer me an additional 5%, if I use the link that's inside the email I receive to reorder. I can also estimate my shipping costs. Now I'm going to select hairspray as well. So I'm going to go back to our products. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the hairspray headline, which will take me to the hair fiber spray. Click the buy it now button. And I'm going to select one of each, a medium and a strong hairspray. I'm going to select one of them, and I'm going to add it to my cart. Now I see in the summary box, I have two items. If I don't want one of these items, I can click the X to remove it. But I do want both of them, so I'm going to view my shopping cart. And now I'm going to select checkout to pay by credit card. If I wanted to pay by PayPal Express checkout, I could click the PayPal button, log into my PayPal account, then I would just simply confirm the order once it takes you back to the Finally Hair website, and you should receive an order number and be finished. But I'm going to check out by credit card. So I click the checkout, and I see that I have to create an account. If I'm a returning customer, I can simply enter my email address and my password and log in. But if not, I will need to fill in this form so that we have your shipping information. Now, I've set up another tab quickly with the form filled in here. So you can see I'm signing up as John Doe at our company's address. And I'm going to create a new account by clicking Continue. It will take a minute to create the account and to make sure that that email is not already signed up. If your email address has been used before, it will not let you create a second account with the same email address. Okay, so now I've signed in and my account is set up. And as you can see, my shipping address is appearing here. And the different offers for shipping method is appearing here. I can select Priority Mail, Express Mail, FedEx, whatever service I like, or stick with the free shipping. I can also change the shipping address if that's not the address that I'd like to have it shipped to. I can also change my billing address. Now I see in my shopping cart, there are my two items. If you scroll down further on the right, you can still enter your discount coupon here and also sign up for the reorder emails here as well. But now I would enter my credit card number here, my expiration date and year, and the three digit code on the back of my Visa or MasterCard or the four digit code on the front of my American Express card. Once that's filled in and it's correct, I would scroll down here and I would just click this button to confirm the order. It will come up with a screen that shows you that it is processing, and you should receive an order number and a confirmation email of your order. If you do not receive that, your order has not been completed. 
and you will need to see why it is not completing. Generally, it will give you a message telling you why it could be an unapproved credit card or maybe an error in the credit card number. And that's it. You're all set and your order will be shipped out pronto. Thank you for your business.